Hello guys, uh, welcome to Illustrator. This is the part four of uh, ETFs tutorial, and today I'm going to show you how you can uh, model staircase in multi-story buildings or in normal buildings also. So basically, today's tu tutorial is all about staircase modeling. So let's start. So here I have the story one, the plan view, and this is the 3D view. So I am I'll be creating the dog leg stair. So for that, uh, I need a beam at the middle of these two columns. You can see uh, these two columns. I need a beam at the midpoint here, in the midpoint. Okay. So I need to create a beam here. For that, uh, let's take beam as a draw beam option and uh, select the property from here it will be a beam this beam property okay and now i need the midpoints right so for that i need to uh, take the snap option so the snap option is available here draw then snap options and i need line ends and midpoints okay so uh, uncheck this because uh, i have told you before also that uh, this etfs 2018 has some bugs so if you select all these snap options it may not uh, snap the proper point so we need line ends and midpoints so check it and apply um, so here it is directly giving us the midpoints okay so select this midpoint and again this midpoint so here we have created and then escape or enter so we have created the uh, beam at the midpoint here okay let's close it now will be creating the uh, staircase from here okay so let's let's create it for that uh, actually we need we need some joints okay so first of all what what we need to do let's see this is the midpoint okay so we need to divide divide this frame okay so let's divide this frame see here divide frame or else you can go to edit then edit edit frames divide frames okay divide frames into two and then apply okay so okay close it <clears throat> so this frame is divided in two parts now so now we need to take uh, we need to replicate the joints as as we do before so let's let's go to snap option again and we want joints apply see the joint is showing this joint and this joint so we want these two joints first to replicate the one meter so go to edit replicate um, it will be x direction minus x direction so it will be minus one meter minus one meter then apply so it is created so let's take the slab so for this um, We'll be taking the slab of 160 mm for the staircase. So let's define a stair section property, slab section, then add new property, slab 2. Material will be M30 slab. It will be slab only, shell thin. And let's take it 160 mm. Okay. And then OK. So this is the slab 2. OK. So we need slab right so let's take this and our property will be slab 2 so select slab 2 now uh, select this joint yeah now I'm getting the joints so yeah so I have completed creating one slab here again I need to create um, one uh, this slab one slab in the at the midpoint which will be the landing so for that again the same process i need to replicate the joints select the select this joint and this joint and it should it and i need to replicate it what will be the direction it will be x direction right so x direction one meter so x direction one meter then apply So uh, we have the joints here. Now again, take the slab, then slab two. 
it also let's see where is the joint see this is the joint one there should be one joint actually creating in 3d view it's quite difficult but only once you need to create so no problem see so we have created the landing also okay now what we need to do let's um, join these beams these two beams we have divided so let's join it see join frames so it is joined now now what we need to do let's change the display option graphic make it 50 percent okay so it will be easy to understand for us okay so i have joined these two beams what i have um, previously i have divided now what we need to do we need one joint here also to make this uh, wasteland okay so we have a beam here see you can see this beam we need to divide it as early as we did before so divide frames to apply okay so we have we have the joint see the beam the beam is separated we need the this joint here the midpoint right so let's uh, replicate it in the x direction one meter then apply okay so now we have two joints um, let's close it now we have here one joint another one here okay so we need to create a wedge slab from from this these two joints to the upper part okay so let's take the slab and uh, check whether the property is slab 2 or not okay slab 2 and select this joint okay then this joint this joint this joint and there you go. okay so one waist level has we have created one waist level right you can see here this is the waist left now this is the first stair from ground floor to uh, the mid mid of the first floor okay from this uh, landing we need to go to the first floor right this is story one sorry story two so let's once keep it side aside now we need to go to story two so uh, select this floor and go to story two see with this arrow you can change your stories so this is the story 2 and in story 2 this side we need to create one slab right so select these two joints replicate minus x minus 1 it will be minus x direction because this see this is the positive direction and that will be the negative direction so we need 1 meter which uh, landing so uh, minus x minus 1 then apply okay so we have the joints here so let's take the slab okay let's see we have the joint we have this joint also okay so now we have created this okay so what we did we separated these two beams right this one this beam in two parts so let's join this beam because we should not uh, there should not be two beams it should be one beam it should act as a single beam so let's join it here join frames or you can go to edit edit frames and we'll get the option join frame okay so we joined it now we want one midpoint here also right so select this beam then uh, divide frames to apply ok 
okay then okay so here i have one joint replicate minus one apply see i have the joint here so again the same process same process let's let's create it so let's take this slab slab two from this joint to this joint complete it i think it is uh, visible to you so see what we have done we have created slabs here right so again the same process we have divided this two beams so we should join it let's join join frames yeah we join this is okay so we join it let's use the 3d view again sorry this one plan view story one apply this is a 3d view and if you see the extruded view then you can see the um, staircase here see this is the staircase we have created let's let me change the display option then you can observe it clearly actually this is um, I'm changing the transparency it it is 50 percent now let, let me make it zero so it will be totally rigid, uh, rigid opaque yeah so this is the opaque view it's not transparent so you can see mm, this, is, this is the waste slab that i have created and this is the landing change the extruded option now select select this slab this slab this one and this one so what we do will replicate the whole structure sorry the whole will replicate the uh, staircase to the whole story like all the 10 stories okay all the remaining nine stories so we have created the staircase from story one to story two so the remaining will be story three to story four then uh, and so on story four to story five like that so let's let me re replicate it so i have selected the slabs and okay uh, select the beam also here i have a beam here we need we need this beam in every story so select this and go to edit replicate and story so you can story and from story 3 to story 11 i have selected now before clicking on apply just if you go just over over the apply option you can see see whether it is uh, replicating properly or not you can see here see it is replicating properly right so let's click on apply see in one click i have created check is to all the stories actually so that's how you can model the staircase of your building whether it is irregular or regular building uh, it may be residential building it may be a commercial building and it is important actually for residential buildings uh, it is important to uh, it is better to uh, model um, dog leg stair because or else you should give this landing because uh, for aged person it is very hard it is quite hard for uh, to like um, to go upstairs without any rest without any landing if you give landing then they will they'll have time to take rest so uh, for residential buildings it is better to uh, model um, dog leg stair or the stair which has landing okay so that this is it for today's tutorial uh, i i hope you guys understand how you can easily model a staircase for a building for in my next video I will show you how you can model the lift shaft here see I have a space here for lift shaft here so I will show you how you can model lift shaft 
in your building because uh, this is a 10 story residential building so it is quite hard to go upstairs using this stair you should have lift and it is like nowadays it is compulsory to have lift in multi story building so i'll show you how you can model lift shaft and e tabs okay thank you guys if you guys have any uh, any query or any doubt about this you can comment down and uh, i'll try to solve those problems i'll try to reply all of you okay thank you guys this is it for today um see you in the next video